Good evening. Paris, how is it today? Good morning, Max. And I'm, everything is perfect. I, you know, I have nothing to complain about. I even think today I'm actually going to listen to your story because I'm in good mood. So tell me, All what's right. up with oh, you? Oh, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. And I have, honestly, I have a story where I think I need you to make me a better customer. Oof. I'm not sure I can so, do that. Um, let me let me walk through what this is and and help me figure out what I should do. Okay. Um, I, I this is a story about being old, and I am old enough that I actually read a physical newspaper every morning, which means someone delivers the physical newspaper every morning. When I was a kid, you know. Eighth graders went around on their bicycles and delivered the newspapers, but now it's, um, you know, the houses that have the paper are fewer and far between. And there's somebody who's in a car at 5 a.m. driving for miles and miles around the city delivering the papers. And the person who delivers my papers, as best I know, has been doing it for many, many years. I don't even know how long. And this year, there was not a single day the paper wasn't in front of my house by 6 a.m., which is usually when I'm going out and getting the paper. So 365 times out of 365. Uh, and last year it was 366 out of 366 because it was a leap year. Um, the only way I have any connection to this person at all is he does a smart thing. And somewhere between Thanksgiving and Christmas, he inserts a, um, a Christmas card. And it's got his address on the envelope in front of it. And if I want to give him a tip, it's really easy for me to take that, mail it back to him with a tip in it. And, and again, now we're into U.S. French. I doubt paper, the paper deliverers in Paris ever get tips. But in the U.S., it's it's something that you do on a pretty common basis. Um, this year, my wife and I were out of town during some of that time. And as a result, that paper just got thrown away and never got opened. So I didn't get the envelope. I didn't keep the envelope from last year. And I don't even know if it's the same person. So uh, I have no way to tip this person. This person has been exemplary, but I've also been completely disconnected. I, I've literally never seen this person. I don't, I'm sound asleep when they drive by, but my goodness, a whole year of nailing it every day is just in the same spot in the driveway every morning. Um, I want to, I, I would like to get the tip, give the tip, but I don't have a way, you know, the only thing I'm thinking is maybe I could call the newspaper and say, who is my carrier? I'm not sure they'll give it to me. Uh, but I mean, what do you do at that point? Do I just not tip this person who's been doing it? And why I'm asking a Frenchman on, on tipping advice now that I That's think That's exactly it, where I was going. Why would you be <laughs> asking me? Um, so first, let me rectify some of that. Um, in the old days... Um, we used to tip around, not, not around Christmas time, around New Year's time. Uh, okay. We used to tip um, all the people we interacted with on a daily basis. So it's uh, uh, if you live in a building that would be the concierge downstairs that, you know, mm -hmm. help you with your daily stuff. Uh, if you, we used to tip the postman because, you know, the, we had a special relationship with a postman. We would have a chat when he would deliver the letters. Right, it was right. not just there is a letter in your box. There used to be a relationship, maybe not in Paris, to be fair, uh, maybe more in the, in the villages. But that's where I grew up, and we used to do that. You would do this for the firemen. You would do that for the garbage man. You would do that for all the guys that you could potentially have conversation with, and they were doing a great job. So just to rectify wrong, we did that a long time ago. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's the first thing. There, 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 it has been a tradition in your life at some point. So it's not like you have no understanding. Of this for point. my grandparents and to some extent for my parents, I've never, 
I don't know my postman. It changes all the time. Never see the guy. And the few times I see him is just because I see him running away, leaving a paper in my mailbox saying <laughs> I was not at home. So I'm definitely not going to tip that guy in any way. Yeah, but I, I, have story. A, I have a chatty, friendly postman. And I don't know what would happen if I did tip him, but there are things that explicitly say you do not tip the U.S. Postal Service. So I, I'm I'm... He's someone I don't tip, even though I do have a relationship with him, just not supposed okay. to. Okay. Well, so that was the first layer. Second layer, in France, we have something slightly different, which is uh, typically the postman, the garbage man, um, the fireman. There, there are a bunch of people who actually come between Christmas and New Year to your home, knock on your door to sell calendars. So it's they still make money from that, but that's not tips. You buy something, but you buy it for definitely more than it's worth. Uh, and you usually end up with four or five calendars you're never going to use because they are totally unusable and not that pretty anyway. Uh, but that's a way to, <laughs> to pay back. Uh, so we have that other tradition, and that is still happening. Now, to your original question, I really don't know if I'm the right person because I, I have a hard time with that tipping culture. And the reason is I, I'm going to sound like a like a terrible person again, but it's okay. I'll live with it. Um, if you have a one-year problem-free Wi-Fi service in your home, are you going to call your telecom provider and ask to tip the engineer who is taking care of your cable? If if you don't Boy, have probably, problem yeah, honestly, with... Honestly, I probably should, but no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, well, that okay, would be that a scenario Because it would never happen. But let's talk about your <laughs> water provider. You got water to take a bath every yeah. night. Do you even think about tipping the guy who's making sure your pipes are working? I mean, there, there are a few jobs. And I understand. I mean, if you're talking about the, the food industry, we pay our waiters and waitresses so badly that you have no choice to have that tipping culture. Otherwise, those guys can't make a living. So there is... An explanation here, but for most jobs, I don't. I mean, no one tips me when I do a good job, and I'm pretty sure no one tips you either. So, I unless the basic pay is really bad, or you have that personal relationship, meaning you know the guy and you chit chat, and you you feel he deserves a little something, great. But the general tipping culture, I may be too French about it, but I I, I have a hard time understanding it. Yeah, I, I I get that, and that's fair. I do think newspaper delivery people well let me put it this way if i gave that guy a tip he would if the money would mean a lot more to him than it does to me that, that's this is not a high paying job and it, it would you know it, it, it's a scramble job i get that but and actually i get that because um the the person who, who comes once a week to clean the house uh we gave her a little tip plus a gift for christmas uh before you know, before she would go on holiday. So I understand that. But again, we have that special relationship. It's not just because she does a great job. It's right, we chat right. every week. We know each other and, and we feel like we owe her. Now, the question is, you seem to feel like you should be doing it, but you don't feel it hard enough that you would give a call to the newspaper company. So is it, again, the propane tank $10 coupon thing where it's probably not even worth the bother? Blast. That's that, and yes, and that makes me feel like a horrible person. And I think it gets to your point. Other than this envelope, which I didn't, which I get once a year, and I didn't get this year. I, this is not a person to me. This is a machine, um, and so there isn't that kind of, you know, if it was an afternoon paper and it was a kid going by on his bike, and I saw Tommy once or twice a week, and that would feel very different. But since this is so completely anonymous, uh, it, it, it's kind of, yeah. And, and yeah, it just, I don't know that I want to, I, I don't have that connection. So it's kind of hard to say, oh man, I'm going to call. I got to make sure that this guy is getting his share. So let me give you a few suggestions here. First suggestion for the guy. Um, uh, First of all, I, f I find his method is incredibly smart. I don't know if it's a common stuff in the U.S. or if it's him specifically, but it's very smart to add a small Christmas card and kind of saying, hey, you should tip me, but not saying it. And you didn't right. have to pay some tip to get a sweet upgrade. That happens sometimes. That was not the case here. Uh, so it it's very smart. Another thing you could do is actually come and knock on the door, not to ask for tips, but saying, hey, 
I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm. I just wanted to see whether you were happy with the with the delivery that Service. happens every day. That's interesting. And, and that's a great way to create a connection. And then it's much more difficult not to tip someone you've engaged with because he's no longer a machine; he's a person. So this exactly. is a suggestion, exactly. probably for him. Suggestion for you: I have two. Either you wake up at five a.m. tomorrow morning and you sit next to your mailbox so that you can <laughs> give him the tip. That's or not gonna you, happen. Or you move to France, and that won't be an issue anymore. So either or, it's up to you. Oh, that's not a. I like the moving to France. <laughs> it's a little extreme, but I think it, 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 it has merit as an option. I'll have to consider that a little bit. We talk about this more and more over the episodes. I I, I feel the 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 last episode of this season might have a happy ending. Let, let's see where it goes. Okay, sounds great. <laughs> you feel any better? I do. I do, I do feel better, and, and especially in this one because it was a little bit more about me than what someone did to me. So I appreciate that. Perfect. Well, Max, I guarantee I will have a story for you next week. In the meantime, I wish you have a beautiful week, and let us know what you've decided to do about this story in, in a few weeks' time. All right, I, I will do a follow up. Now you're now you're putting me to a point where I really do want to call the paper <laughs> and because I don't want to admit I didn't. But all right. Thanks, Julian. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Bye, Max. Take care.